He needs for nothing. He wants for nothing. I am 100% there for him all the time. Do they understand that there is a competing agenda? I'm a very proud helicopter mom. God, I hope you remember saying that. You know, there is a tug of war in this country where we have some who believe teaching our young people to cope, aspire to success, and self-govern is a bad thing that there should be a quality, not just of opportunity, but of outcome, independent of the quality of input, where victimhood replaces accountability and young people simply are not being prepared for the next level of life. We have a government paying off those with their hands out instead of giving them a hand up. We also have an educational system that is coddling and valuing the demands of entitled, sensitive students over the valued professors and teachers being canceled and fired. But there is someone else that's attacking society and our families and raising a generation of young adults who are busier causing problems with those they disagree with and who are finding ways to work less than becoming contributing members of society. I mean, think about it. If you can sit home in a bean bag eating Cheetos and watching Rick and Morty and make the same money you can working, human nature being what it is, we should all go invest in bean bags. <laughs> so who are these other set of culprits? Well, you guessed it, it's parents. In fact, a recent study by Pew Research Center found that 45% of parents today tend to be overprotective. These parents are seemingly wrapping their little precious pies in bubble wrap to protect them from life's hardships by refusing to let them fail or experience any sort of adversity and sadness. Now, these parents are creating a generation that will continue keeping America the leader in this world in statistical categories that we just shouldn't be proud to be leading. I believe every parent at their core wants healthy children, right? Every, we all want our children to be healthy. But the question is, do they understand that there is a competing agenda going on? Well, the answer to that question may be hard to hear, but it's gonna be coming at you today. Now, my first guest, Gina, says she wears the label of a hovering helicopter mom to her 13-year-old son, Stanton, and she wears it as a badge of honor and proudly goes to great lengths to protect him, even if that means carrying a gun when they're out together. Anywhere I go with my son, I have a concealed weapon in my purse and in my car. So I feel very secure that I would be able to take care of him if something should happen. If trouble comes about, I'm ready. I've been called Mama Bear because when it comes to my child, this mama, she just doesn't play. Until my son is of age, whatever age that may be, I'm not pushing the 18, I'm not pushing the 21. If he wants to be of age at 35, I'm fine with that. It is my job to protect him. Don't get me fired up about my baby. <laughs> but carrying a firearm everywhere she goes with her teen son is not the only way Gina claims to protect him. If it was, hey, I probably wouldn't even say anything about it. That's not all. Stanton is the center of my life. Look at that smile. He looks like a little Barbie doll. He just blows the camera away his gorgeous smile in his eyes. He needs for nothing, he wants for nothing. I am 100% there for him all the time. He's blowing mommy a kiss here. I have been called a helicopter mom and I'm very proud of it. He is my first, my only, and my last. He's my only opportunity to get this right. That's just a little character just saying, ha, I got you. Here's one with him saying peekaboo. I am very protective of my child. His safety, his mental, his physical condition. I want him happy. I do not want to see him in distress. We, of course, decided 
to get cameras so that we could keep better protection over him. My child has never ridden a school bus because there are bullies. He does not go to the movies alone with anyone. Absolutely not. A mall alone, no. Going to other people's homes and spending the night, it's out of the question. There has never been a babysitter for Stanton. If he can't accompany us, then we don't need to go. When I take him to a park, I would not let him out of my sight at all. When I take Stanton to school or to church, I wait. I am not leaving my child until the door has closed. I won't say that there may not be an occasion where I have a car line and people honking, and, but they can just honk and go around me because I'm gonna watch my child. I'm still concerned of sending him to the mailbox by himself. I've told him what to do, but I still feel better knowing that he makes it back without getting hit by a car. I do not care if other parents judge me for the way that I'm parenting. Don't come in my lane trying to tell me what to do with my child. All right, well, Gina, you proudly say you're a helicopter mom. I do. I'm a very proud helicopter mom. I am the mama bear. I am the protector of my son. I can be called a coddler. I don't care. I'm going to do it my way. Okay, and um, that's just not up for negotiation. It absolutely is not. He's my child. Well, we can agree to disagree, and I'll still yeah. respect you just as well. I, I don't question at all that you want the best for your son. It's just how we define best and how we get there. Now, you say that this is my only chance to get it right. But, so how do you decide what's right? Everyone's right, I feel like, is based on their household. What best fits their family? Because every decision you walk your child through, it's gonna affect the rest of their life. On into adulthood, their marriages, their children, which is, would be hey, my grandchildren. God, I hope you remember saying that. <laughs> Everything you do with your child is going to affect what happens to them going forward because we're not raising children, we're raising adults. Would you agree? I totally agree. How did you learn how to parent? <laughs> I didn't. I, I, I don't honestly, you remember saying that too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's a textbook. I don't think there's a book written. I just think that you have to, well, no offense, <laughs> respectfully, Dr. Phil. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I did write a book about that. <laughs> well, I didn't read it's it. It's called Sorry. Family First. It's uh, <laughs> sold millions of copies, actually. <laughs> I'd be happy to get you a copy if you'd read it. That would be nice. Uh,